Okay, so at uh, this video discussion, we are going to discuss uh, the uh, topic about data collection. So in which we are going to um, know what are the types of data, the uh, methods of collecting data, and also we are going to take a little um, uh, review on the history and the definition of statistics. Okay, so we have the beginnings of statistics. So the history of statistics can be said to start around 1749. Although over time, there have been changes to the interpretation of the word statistics. In early times, the meaning was restricted to information about the states. In modern terms, statistics means both sets of collected information as in national accounts and temperature records and analytical work which requires statistical data. So the beginnings of statistics is said to be around 1749 and the previous uh, meaning of the word is only about the information about the states. So that's why we have the term is statistics. Okay, but later on the uh, name or the meaning of the word statistics uh, go beyond the uh, collection of information about the states but also the analytical work which requires statistical inference or the interpretation of the information that are collected from the different states hence we have now the uh, word statistics so the formal definition of statistics is the science and art of dealing with figures and facts so statistics is well defined as collection presentation analysis and interpretation of numerical data collected from different sources so statistics so statistics is a science so that is and also an art so which deals about figures and facts so that is the most important uh, terms in this in this first definition of the word statistics and also so the the process of uh, statistics or the flow of statistics starts from the collection of data the representation analysis and the interpretation so that is how statistics works and that is mainly uh, one of the the concepts that we are going to um, discover or we are going to understand in our subject okay so we have a statistical data so in the previous um, slides we learned the definition that uh, statistics is the science and art of dealing with figures and data and those figures and data can can, can be uh, put into one word or in this case two words and that is statistical data so a sequence of observation made on a set of objects included in the sample drawn from a population so that is the first definition of statistical data it can be also defined as quantitative or qualitative value of a variable so meaning it could be number images words figures facts or ideas so it is the lowest unit of information from which other measurement and analysis can be done so that is also another definition and data is one of the most important and vital aspects of any research study so those are the definitions of statistical data then we have data types so data types according to um, the how they are collected so for example the raw data itself so they are um, classified into different types so if you are going to have a three three diagram of that so we'll start with data so the very first two qualification uh, qualification uh, classification of data is quantitative and qualitative so if we are going to define what is quantitative data so it is data 
are measures of values or counts and expressed as numbers. So, meaning those data are expressed or represented as numbers. So, that is for quantitative data. For qualitative data, so defined as the data that approximates or characterize. So, meaning it only approximates the data itself or also just characterize or describe the data. It is non-numerical in nature and collected through methods of observation, one-on-one -on -one interviews, and similar methods. Then, we can also divide the quantitative data into two groups. So, we have continuous and discrete. So, the continuous data, also known as the variable data, is data that can be can take the form of decimals or continuous values of varying degrees of precision. So meaning the data can be represented in in numbers but they are it could go to the realm of or to we could express them as decimals so that we could have a degree of precision. So meaning example in that uh, sample of a continuous data is height. So we could not say that the height of a person is exactly 120 centimeter or because or just 130 centimeter 120 130 160 150 no every person has different height so there are some exactly 120 but the other one uh, might be have a height of 120.15 centimeter so that is a type of a continuous data also the other example for continuous data is the weight okay we will go to discrete so discrete so these are data whose form cannot take a uh, uh, cannot take form or the form is cannot be represented as decimals or um, they are just um, represented as whole numbers so for example family size enrollment size so in a family size if you are going if you will be asked the size of your family so we see six persons made up my families so you cannot say that six and one half person or 6.5 person so that is not how family size is represented Suppose also is enrollment size you could not say that uh, in in a class there are 45.5 students so it is always whole number and that is considered as discrete data or discontinuous data then in the qualitative it is also divided into two so we have attribute and open so we say attribute so data that can be counted for recording and analysis so it could be um, counted for example the uh, the criteria for the height of a person tall um, um, small so that is attribute data the size of the waist so or the size of um, the t-shirt of a person so we could have small medium large extra large double xl triple xl so that is an attribute data it can be counted and can be also recorded for analysis now the opposite of this type is the open data so the open data is uh, is depending on the sample and not and not given a specific value <coughs> value so it is not given an Pass, uh, specific value the possible set of responses or answers so it is um, open free so if you are going to give your response so you could have your response anything under the sun so for example if you are going to have a survey form and you are asked that um, what uh, how do you see your life 50 years from now so that is um, considered to be as an open data because um, there are um, maybe infinite number of, or infinite uh, types of responses and that is considered as open so the problem with this one is we could not analyze this properly it is sometimes um, put in a survey form in order for the researcher to have a graphs on 
uh, on the nature of the uh, of of the respondents. Okay. Then the up the attribute data is um, further subdivided into two. So we have nominal and ordinal. So the nominal data is defined by an operation which allows making statements only equality or difference. So meaning they are just criteria. No? Nominal data are just criteria. For example, gender. So gender, male, female, race, American, African, uh, European, re religion. So we have uh, Roman Catholic, uh, Islam, Nishani Cristo, so on and so forth. Then we have political affiliation. So if you are a admis, uh, if you are a Democrat or a Republican, if you are living in the United States, so that is nominal data. So there is no order, only the criteria, the quality of the data. Either it is uh, either uh, they are equal or different. Okay. Then we have ordinal. So ordinal. So we could have the. Um, the data defined appellation whereby the members are group are of a particular group are ranked so there is a ranking for example awareness so you have those people that are very aware not so aware IQ then for example um, the uh, level of your dexterity so are you um, are you um, very uh, versatile, not so versatile. So the the most common example of that is for for this uh, for this generation is the ranking on the ML. So you can have the mythic one, mythic two. Are you a noob? So those ranking is also an ordinal data. So there is a rank, there is a order. So that is ordinal data. So these are the types of data, the raw data that are collected. Then after those data are collected, we could also um, group them according to how they are now presented in a certain way. And that will be discussed on the next video. So thank you for watching and as always, enjoy learning.